This territory of Sao Paulo is known to all over the cosmos. In the stadium of Pakiampu, Corinthians used to play a few days ago as well. Now they play their matches at Corinthians Arena. Even the World Cup matches are also taking place in that stadium. But this Estadio Municipal Stadium of Pakiampu is very much related to the history of Brazilian football. This is the stadium where the first call of establishing democracy was hoisted with a keem of football. And the man who was in the forefront of that particular movement was none other than the former Brazilian captain, Dr. Socrates. This is Pakaembu Stadium. This is the first time I played football. In 1980, the football player was the first time I played football. And the first time I played football was the first time I played football. Even in the 1980s, Socrates was in the leadership of the Corinthians football team, who was also a doctor. The whole Brazil was under military rule at that particular time. Socrates hoisted the clarion call of establishing democracy for the first time and that also in his own team Corinthians. Even at that particular time, Socrates started the rule of taking the votes of the footballers to take a particular decision. And this is the ground where Socrates and his players used to play football to establish the movement of democracy. Even they used to don the jerseys where the words written that football for democracy. Even on the day when the general election was announced at Sao Paulo after a series of endeavour, the footballers of Corinthians appealed to the people of Sao Paulo to give their necessary votes. A huge mob was also organised at Sao Paulo to create the awareness to the people of Sao Paulo to give their votes. Even Dr. Socrates said, I won't go to play in Italy if you give your necessary votes. A huge amount of money was there on offer for Socrates from Italy to play over there. But astoundingly, Socrates didn't go to play in Italy. For the sake of football and his countrymen, the selflessness Socrates showed is still in the memories of the people of Sao Paulo. Socrates got passed away a couple of years ago. But the stadium of Bacampu still carries a lot of memories of Socrates. The Corinthians democracy of Socrates is still there in the memories of the people of Sao Paulo. There is still a lot of respect for this particular man who imbibed democracy in Brazilian football. In the Estadio Municipal Stadium of Pakiampu, you'll still find a lot of memories and mementos of Socrates which are still there on offer for the people. You'll also find the goals he scored in the jersey of Corinthians over here. You'll also get that immortal picture when the footballers of Corinthians appealed to the people of Sao Paulo to give their necessary votes. Even now when the Corinthians team don't often play at the stadium of Estadio Municipal, but the stadium is there in the pages of history. And not only for the Brazilian football, but also for the football cosmos. And the whole world call it as a Corinthians democracy. And who would forget this man, Dr. Socrates. Now, when the football World Cup is going on in Brazil, you'll find democracy everywhere. But it was Socrates who first established the flag of democracy in Brazilian football.